a thing as a late limo. I know there's well, a bang bus, but I didn't know it was a late limo. I just thought maybe we continue the alliteration. Maybe you need to start a new uh, company, chilled. Well, since Minx is the only living one here... Minx, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> come back! My love is loving! You are sitting inside in a lonely house, and you realize you're never going to find someone that will ever love you. I... Boom! Upsetting, right? The only way to find someone is to go outside to the okay. bars to get wasted drunk, but you don't want to do that. So who do you call the laid-down limo? The only problem is they hey, don't that's exist. My idea! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Who wants to say what you can lay? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Okay. But I was gonna say, that's such a bad idea, because you would die in a horrible car accident, no. you go back inside. So you boot up no. my grand idea, it's called Fuck Flicks. Now hold on, you may think that's a really bad idea, but just imagine the program. Netflix as a dating company. So you go in, you want to find people like-minded to you. Let's say you've been seven hours of Desperate Housewives because you're a little desperate as yourself. It will show you local singles in your area also watching seven hours of Desperate Housewives. Boom! Now you can both be miserable together. I win! Ah. <sighs> Okay, chill. That's actually a really good idea. Super depressing, but really good. <laughs> Name my company the Salty Lie. Um, okay. Now, now we all know I'm a man. Well, as a woman, sort of. But as a yeah. man, yeah. and we all know a lot of us have weight issues, and you know we we care about our weight and whatnot. And one of the sure. biggest problems I think we face is snacks. And mm, for me, delicious. it's popcorn. So I'm yeah. thinking we get these little things that taste like popcorn, like these little uh -huh. condoms, and we put oh, them on. Oh, 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 what, what, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, you I'm lost not, me. On, okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm not so done. Sorry. We don't put them on our penis. I mean, you could if you want, but the, the product's not designed for that. You, they're called finger condoms that taste okay, like really popcorn. Chilled. Okay, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Yeah, are you going? To, are you going to ejaculate into your popcorn? No, because no. Of that, <laughs> No, that would be the salty surprise. This is the salty lie. So it's <laughs> you put these little finger condoms on your fingers that uh -huh. taste like popcorn, and when uh -huh. you go to the movies, instead yeah. of eating all the popcorn, you just suck on your fingers, and it tastes like you're eating popcorn, and it's called a salty <laughs> lie. God damn it! This was a great I, idea. <laughs> I've heard enough. Semen is also nutrition. No, <laughs> the whole not, it's, <laughs> not, it's not. About, you have it all wrong. I it's, thought. I, I totally thought you were going that direction. <laughs> no, no. They're finger condoms that taste like popcorn that you could suck on, so you don't. I actually eat popcorn, but yeah, maybe you shouldn't call them so finger funny. condoms. Yeah, what, you, what should Something I call them? Anything <laughs> else. <laughs> Just, you said condom. Aaron, can I give you my idea? I've been waiting all day to tell you my idea. Okay, which one are I you? I really want you to invest. Okay, my product is called Boner Bait, and it's it's tackle shaped like dicks because fish <laughs> love peni. I'm gonna stop you right there. You, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're come on, no, give me money. I wanna, no, I want to invest. I want to invest. You want to uh, invest you... in Boner Bait? Listen, yes. okay. What's more entertaining than a dick flopping around? And specifically, specific <laughs> in, in, in a lake, a stream, an ocean, you see a bunch of, listen, if this doesn't exist, I don't know why it shouldn't. Dicks flopping around. A fish cannot say no to a wiggly dick, can you? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We have, and I think this is the perfect idea that you have here, and we have someone who may not be too interested. Minx, what's your opinion on flopping dicks? I, I would totally buy one right now. I told you! Hey! Yeah. You got the market, market yeah. cornered, my they friend. They can come in, in, like, sparkles and sprinkles and, like, glowing, you know what can I'm I, saying? Can, like, I get a can I get a rainbow one? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I just need, I think I need the, the money. Color. I need it. I, and you guys should also die. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so my company is called customcream.com. Okay. Now, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You scream ice cream. We all like ice cream, right? Am I right? We, yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. We like oh, yeah. ice cream. Now, I know you've often asked yourself, there's a limited number of flavors in the world, and and I've answered this question with customcream.com. Now, you and your friends in, in in our sort of online forums can exchange your ice cream ideas. So, like, listen. Now, you love ice cream, right, children? Absolutely. I love ice cream. Now, I want to send you one of my favorite flavors. So, mm -hmm. customcream.com, I can actually mail you my ice cream, and then you eat it. <laughs> Dot com. Oh. So it's like a like a swap type thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we swap creams. So oh. so you, I, I give you my cream and you give me your cream and we eat it together. You forgot to say 
we all scream <laughs> for, for my, my cream. cream. <laughs> um, I would still like to talk about customcream.com. And I, I, I listen, I, I'm not done. Listen, think of all the flavors. It's like Harry Potter. You know, like when you, you get candies, like one tastes like garbage. One tastes like chilled semen. One tastes like peppermint. You know, it could be anything. Like, you know. Wow, look at the variety. <laughs> <laughs> all I need is a humble investment of $10 billion. We're all going to scream for our collective cream. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I wonder if customcream.com is probably a porn website. I probably <laughs> Here we go. I probably inadvertently send people to a porn website. Custom oh no. Cream. No. Customcream.co.uk. The number what? one location for Oh, it is an ice cream company! Custom <laughs> cream. <laughs> the number one ice cream company. <laughs> Because <laughs> people are gonna search Dude, the website. You can and trade orders, exists. you can hire them. <laughs> look at the holy shit! How, how did you spell it? Just custom cream. Look, I look at the link. Look at the link. Customcreams.co.uk. Okay. Create your own flavor for home delivery. Adam, this will go great. Got <laughs> <laughs> a chilled semen flavor. Yeah. Our company name: Fruity Surprise. Our tagline: What's in your mouth? Now, no, again, very dirty. But here's the idea. Now, you take this banana for example, right? You yeah. peel open the banana. What's inside of it? A uh, fruity surprise. No, no, you're wrong. A banana. Oh. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap that banana in some kind of fruity surprise logo so you automatically open it and you never know what you're going to get. Is and then you put it in your mouth. Your dick inside of this fruit. <laughs> hey. Hey. Your response is, hey. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm just saying, you gotta figure out what's in your mouth. Yeah, it's true. First of all, the name, uh, we're gonna try and do like a spinoff of 1-800-Flowers. We're gonna do it 1-800-Get-You-Off. Now, hold on, hold on. <laughs> not like that. Prostitution? How is that <laughs> not like that? <laughs> not like that. The idea <laughs> yeah, behind yeah, it, ahead, now let's say my good friend Alpha over here. Uh -huh. He yeah. accidentally commits a hate crime. Okay? Ooh, accidentally. Yeah, let's sometimes. say he kills a white man. Um, oh, oh, that yeah. kind of get me off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. We will send. <laughs> <laughs> we will send to his door immediately a white attorney to defend him. Oh, Thus, yeah, like I that, that. I gaining that. sympathy. That. And let's yeah. say, for example, Lima kills a black man. We will yeah. send a black attorney to him. It's one hundred. Get you off. Right, right. You call immediately. Boom. Yeah. You're done. We got sympathy votes. We got everything. I was about to ask you, uh, like, how is this any different from Better Call Saul? But, but different ooh. races for different hate crimes. It does not have yes. that service. No. I like it. I no. like it. Man, chill. You got all the ideas. Thanks, <laughs> man. Now, you've heard of the G-Spot, correct? Yes. <laughs> now, think about this product <laughs> called uh -huh. the C-Spot. Now, hold on. You may think it's dirty, and it's not, but I like the way you're going. Celebrity Spot. We take pictures of celebrities, wherever they are, and we tag them with our GPS coordinates so we have a mobile moving map of, mo yeah. of celebrities that if you ever want to see yeah. a celebrity, he is tagged on your GPS. I'm going to stop you. That already exists, yeah. and it's super creepy. Oh, shit. Right, well, yep. Uh, good day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a had... service, and they track celebrities and like their last known whereabouts. It's like <gasps> a celebrity finder. It's really but, creepy. But this will be open source, and people can contribute. I have another idea! Okay. <laughs> I have a really offensive idea, so yes. please wait wait for me to speak before you kill me. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'm a pretty easy going guy. I, don't, I can't even say this. Okay. My, my company is called Little Chubbies. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you about my business. Now, I know you often ask yourself, um, huh, Adam, now, now most adults get boners, right? Now, what about, what about children? <laughs> children... <laughs> Go on. Just, just now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Not the children? <laughs> I don't know if we could do that. <laughs> I'm just thinking you have like little cubbies for little chubbies, and that's where you stick the children. <laughs> yes! Let's go into business together. <laughs> My company is very hands on. Listen, we want to. <laughs> you can get a child attorney. Oh Jesus! I mean, the question is, how do you get the little, the little, the little? I'm done. You guys want to hear my idea? Sure. Do you think, do you okay. Think? It's called close your eyes and shoot. Wait, shit! <laughs> it's actually called um, uh, boys do girls. Um, and <laughs> hold on. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, what is the age limit on this? I want for clarification. Like, I don't I want think you're, you are encroaching upon my little chubby idea, and I will sue you. I will sue you. Okay, I think it's ahead. between. Continue talking. Yeah. Th 13 to 45 would be uh, the boys do girls. Now, you may oh, be thinking this no, kind of. That. That. <laughs> you may be thinking this is a little fucked up, but let yeah. me tell you, it's not actually about sex. It's boys who turn into girls, boys who do girls. We know in today's society, females get all the benefits, everything. And some males want to enjoy the benefits, like holding a door, putting your raincoat on the puddle yeah. to cross over it, just some things that we like. So we sell you like an accessory kit, give you like a set of boobs, it would completely push your bulge in, and it would essentially make you look like a woman. It would teach you a little bit, like we have an instructional oh, DVD and stuff like that. Yeah, so I can, get, I can Mrs. feel Delphi. the kit. Yeah, Mrs. Yes. There you go. Okay, now it's making sense. And then yeah. the only downside is you get paid less. But that's essentially, it's a good idea. The world needs a, a device mm. that can help us think. Of new ideas. And they're all. I don't know something, but I'm <laughs> thinking of a gadget. Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of a gadget. Oh. It spews out random ideas specific, oh. specifically for videos like this one. So what does it look like? What's the device look like? Yeah. My asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so all your ideas are shit? <laughs> I think I think it out of my ass. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. The company's name is uh, My Fat Friend. Um, and <laughs> oh man, okay, continue. The, 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 the perfect idea behind this is we all sometimes have that friend who's a little bit heavy putting on weight, whether it be because he's yeah. depressed, he's not having sex with Adam. You invite all your friends over, and it's a chair. And all you guys sit in the chair and whatnot, and like you're, you're drinking, you're having fun. But yeah. there's a there's a special weight limit on this chair, and you could crank it to whatever number. So let's say we'll put in like 300 pounds in the chair. And once someone at 300 pounds sits in the chair, it just fucking explodes. Um, which, Are you killing your friends? No, no, but it leaves a nasty scar, which is a reminder their weight's getting out of control. Oh, well, that's and, true. And so now they're fat and, and disfigured. Dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've brought awareness to the problem, and you could help them because you guys are good yeah. friends. You're like a chubby Hitler hater. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that's more horrible than what Adam said. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> I'm just saying, during my okay. wow years, I would have loved if someone would have told me that. <laughs> we all know 50% of marriages end in divorce, correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to murder your spouse, but that's illegal. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer a service, kind of like a hitman, but instead of being a hitman, it's a magician for making... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Our company would be called the Jingle Balls. The idea would be, you know how you have, I guess, jingle bells that you kind of ring back and forth and they make kind of a noise. What we do, Zero jingle stone. balls. We'll, we'll, you send in, we'll send you some special clay that you wrap around your nuts, and it makes a, <laughs> it makes a cast of your balls, which you then send back to us. And with our trained professionals, we will turn that cast into iron. And then we put like a little penis inside of it, and then you can ring it, and then you can literally jingle your balls. And it's for Christmas, for birthdays, for all sorts of occasions. Jingle so, balls. I just can imagine you presenting the item to like your family members, be like, I put a lot of tender love and care into this item. This, this is representative of myself, okay? I don't know why, like, I, I feel like you should like put some mistletoe on that, and you can just yeah. like jingle it over someone that you want to kiss. <laughs>